Number one, Will McDonald. Number two, Michael Mayer. Number three, Broderick Jones. That is Joe Douglas citing his preferred draft options uh, as pick 15 was incoming, which kind of dispels the notion that the New England Patriots screwed over the New York Jets by uh, jumping in front of them to take Broderick Jones. And we heard this right after the draft. Daniel Jeremiah actually said this, but I have to be honest, I was pretty skeptical about that. Obviously, I'm quoting from uh, Flight 2023 Ascension, which I'm sure you guys have seen by now. Um, Typically, always there's that post-draft lip service where every team leaks that, you know, they would have taken their guy over prime Larry Sanders and Lawrence Taylor. So wasn't too sure about it, but now we have it confirmed, pre-recorded that that's where the Jets were going to go. And my first takeaway is, you know, heading into future off seasons, we kind of can't really be dismissive with each other about what Joe Douglas is going to do because I was pretty certain that the Jets were not going to take a tight end to pick 13. In fact, when I did like my draft preview and I there was like 15 different players that I took a look at to be a potential first uh, round pick for the New York Jets at the time was pick 13. I didn't look at any tight ends, right? And uh, if Will McDonald wasn't there, the Jets would have taken tight end Michael Mayer over Broderick Jones. So Joe Douglas, between being ready to trade for Tyreek Hill um, to – you know, going edge and possibly tight end with this draft pick, you know, corner over edge last year. There's really no such thing as a, a JD move. Yes, there are JD type of players. Yes, he prioritizes a certain positional value, but I'm out of the business of pretending I know exactly what Joe Douglas is going to do. Remember, we, we weren't going to take a running back, right? Until we did with Brees Hall. And okay, so Will McDonald and Michael Mayer, uh, two guys that Joe Douglas would have liked to pick 15 that one, Michael Mayer doesn't go to the second round, which I thought was surprising. And then two, Will McDonald, a lot of people didn't have, uh, you know, thought maybe back end of the first round, right? I saw a lot of mock traps with him going to the Kansas City Chiefs uh, with the last pick of the first round. So was JD too rich on these guys? Uh, I'm not saying that Joe Douglas deserves a statue. And if you need to see more of a product on the field than a seven-win season to say in JD we trust, that's fine, but for me, it's at least in JD, we give the benefit of the doubt, which doesn't have the same ring to it. But, but last year, when we went through this process, finding out the Jets draft board in the same way, it was revealed that the Jets had Sauce Gardner and Garrett Wilson as the second and fifth best prospects, respectively, in last year's draft. And come on, they ain't five better rookies <laughs> than Sauce Gardner and, and Garrett Wilson. Brees Hall, they had as a top 20 player who would have been probably offensive player of the year, maybe over Garrett if he stays healthy. So again, benefit of the doubt there, especially with McDonald, who we've said the name John Abraham so long as the last guy who was a, a threat to get 15 plus sacks from the edge. And Bryce Huff is a, a, a great situational pass rusher. Jermaine Johnson, I like a lot. And I'm not trying to put ceilings on young players, but we got to give opinions. And to me, Jermaine Johnson, that Calvin Pace redundant comparison does hold. I think he's a 7-8 sack, really good against the run, high motor, high IQ football player. Beautiful. More than worth a 26 overall pick. More than worth trading up to get Jermaine Johnson. I, even I don't see that uh, sack artist potential with Jermaine just because McDonald, the, the get off and the bend. I'm faster than you off the line of scrimmage and I can dip right around you and stick one of those Elastigirl arms and strip the football away. I think Will McDonald is going to be that first sack artist off the edge since John Abraham. And uh, that's going to be more than worth the 15th overall pick. And we'll talk all soon.